Social Sciences is a big program. We have a lot of students that come through because it is everything from teaching to psychology to social work to, to the specialties like economics or, or anthropology. We have courses in general psychology and uh, sociology as well. Human service courses is for services courses for students that are interested in going down a social work track. There's a lot of introductory courses, but most of them fulfill core requirements. And since most uh, universities and colleges, certainly all within the SUNY system, have the same core, whether they're taking a history course or a psychology course or a sociology course, it fits somewhere in that core curriculum and students are able to transfer it with them wherever they go. We have a dual admissions program with SUNY schools and they all they have to do is sign, um, fill out a, a form and by being enrolled here and completing their studies here they're automatically guaranteed admission to uh, like SUNY um, UB uh, or something like uh, Buff State they have, and for Donia we have relationships with all those schools um, so they can go right into there and have their first two years done. What our pro program offers um, that I think that you wouldn't find at some other places is um, affordability, is diversity of course selection, is a, a classroom environment that's, that's dynamic, that emphasizes student participation. We have a lot of interaction with the students. The class sizes are all very small. You don't have large lecture halls. You don't have you know, kind of faceless people. Because our classrooms are small, we cap it 25 or 32 for the most part. We get to know our students and they get to know us and they get to know each other. So in many cases, you know, after, you know, the first couple of classes, I always say you have a classroom personality. They get to know each other. They sit in the same seats and it gets to be a very comfortable environment for learning to take place. We are very diverse here at, at ECC. We have students from many different kinds of backgrounds. Um, I know in some of my classes uh, I've had uh, working mothers who have decided they want to raise their children first and then come to school when they're in their 30s. We've had students who come back in their 20s or students even who are in their 60s and 70s who come back to, to ECC. Um, so there's no kind of prerequisite requirement that students have to have coming in uh, other than a desire to want to, to learn. I think one of the most important things students have to understand is the class time is the smallest amount of time on your course. When you leave class, um, there's a lot of work that you have to do to be, pre be prepared and also to be able to be successful. Um, learning doesn't become um, instantaneous. You can't do it in a vacuum. You have to open up yourself and you have to read and you have to review what's been covered. There's no quick route to academic success. And she covers her hair. Hair is really beautiful. You don't want to uh, attract a lot of attention because people start to gossip and talk about you. And that's not good for your brothers and your fathers and your uncles. Most faculty have had, I mean, we've had to work in the field before we come to teach. So you're not getting somebody who's only got an academic background. We've got people who've got jobs, that, who've been social workers, who've been teachers, who've been, and, you know, for example, I do a lot of anthropology and I, I've done research in Mexico and in Pakistan and in different areas. So we've got a lot of people that really know what they're talking about. And, and I think that helps because you're not just going at teaching from a purely academic point of view, you also know what is expected of you out in the field or in the job when you're working. So we have a little bit of an advantage to be able to help the student really prepare. The job market is about uh, being proactive and presenting yourself to certain opportunities. What most employers are looking for, I think, are employees who can critically think that are engaged in the workplace and that have the skills necessary to be flexible and do different kinds of things. So what we try to do is provide that uh, background. We try to provide that foundation for students so that they can be adaptable to the job market. And if you change that environment and you surround people with virtuous, moral, benevolent behavior, Confucius argues that people will start to become good and moral and benevolent. We really want our students to be prepared to go out into the job market and be able to do the job, be effective, and be happy with their own skills that they've gotten.